Right, here we are again. Now, this time, I'm going to teach you a pretty intense technique for catching fish. Don't worry about setting your gear up on a peg, because this time, we're going stalking. Stalking is a term anglers use when they're hunting for fish close to the bank. Now, why would you do this? Well, getting a bite in the middle of the lake and playing the fish is exciting stuff, but imagine seeing the fish on the margin, eating your bait right in front of you before it belts off and you're in action. That's the very essence of stalking. It's close quarters combat fishing. Now, let's get stuck in and see if we can get a bite. One of the best things about stalking for fish is that you aren't restricted to your peg. You're free to walk around the lake, look for fish, and cast out to the optimum location. Give it a go. Walk up to the edge of the lake and cast out. Well, guys, I don't know about you, cast, but... Take a step back and think for a second. If you're fishing in the margins and you're trying to get a fish in at close range, you're not going to bang out a massive overhead cast now, are you? Casting overhead to short distances is not the way to go. Instead, you want to change your casting stance to an underarm cast. It's a short range cast and is ideal for fishing in the margins. Performing an underarm cast is the same as an overhead cast. Just hold the line, pull the rod back, and when you're ready, push the rod forward and release the line. It looks simple enough, but it's actually pretty tricky. Have a couple of practices to get used to underarm casting. And just in case you were wondering, you can still change your stance when you're preparing to cast. For this lesson, let's keep using the underarm cast. Oh, hold on, I've spotted some fish over there. Quick, reel in and shift it over there before they spook. Remember, when you're fishing in the margins, you want to keep an eye on the water and see if you can spot the fish in the lake. When you see it, look, right there. Can you see them? I'm guessing there's a few doubles over there. Quick, cast your line out and hopefully one of them will take it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really good at this in real life, so... Is that a bite? Ah, nice one! Now it's just like before. Keep an eye on your line tension and reel your target in. Oh yeah. Okay, he was fighting really well and then just sort of gave up. That's nice. <laughs> Check that one out. Man, it looks like you picked yourself up some more experience and tackle points. We're not ending it here, though. Let's put this one back and see if you can catch another. Yeah, I was about to say, that was a short one, but I guess we're going longer. You're on your own this time. I've taught you everything I can about stalking fish, so let's see if you can use those skills and catch one for yourself. That's right where I wanted to go. What the heck? I don't want to walk entirely across the lake. This is stupid. I'm just going to go right here. I'm too lazy to walk across the lake. That'll take too long. Perfect. See, look at that. Just perfect. Look at that, easy. Landed! And that's a lovely looking fish too. Shame it isn't a massive one, but catching these lovely looking carp is still great fun. Well guys, that was a short episode of stalking. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.